this is the G-Cat Racing Porsche Carrera Cup car. So we'll just have a quick look inside. First thing we'll see here is a racekeeper camera mounted so that the view you get is over at the driver, seeing the driver's steering inputs and the dash as well. Um, this is mounted using a Gold Star camera mount. Gold Star on board are one of our UK distributors. We produce some very good solid camera mounts. Um, so the secondary camera is mounted uh, above the driver's head to the right uh, and it's replicating the driver's eye view looking forward. Down here we have the box which is positioned on the battery box um, and the microphone if you can see it it's just up there underneath the dash and then the final piece of the puzzle is up here on the top of the car it's the GPS antenna the GPS poles at 20 Hertz uh, giving us very very high track uh, position accuracy and from that we derive the speed the box itself itself contains uh, internal G sensors triaxial so uh, you get your yeah, lateral and longitudinal G um, and yeah so that is how the system is installed in the G-Cat Racing Porsche Carrera Cup car So here is some example footage from the GCAT racing installation. Up here you've got the lap time information so if I hold shift and left click drag then you can scale all of this up and it's the same with the track map over here. So if I left click hold shift and drag I can make that bigger smaller move it all the way around the screen. Uh, so if I double click we return to the basic view um, and what you have here is the video screen uh, the data graph down the bottom, lap information on the right, and uh, the track map. So we can actually view each uh, component individually. If I press V, I can go to the video. If I press I, I can go to the lap information screen. Uh, this becomes more important if you click on the split time, and you can see the split sector markers. Um, now the splits are defined by where I put the... Uh, sector markers you can see here on the track map with a Google uh, image under underneath it that if I hover and drag and drop this then that's effectively me changing the sector if I right click I can insert a new split marker um, to make a new sector very simple and then the final uh, screen is the data graph which if I turn on certain other channels it uh, it all adds there so let's return back to the main screen um, something that's brand new in the new HD version of the software is the ability to change the colour of the background of the data graph uh, just in case you've got you know, problems seeing the dark lines on white um, this becomes more important when you add extra data channels and it becomes a bit noisy and you might want a bit more clarity to make out the important information um, and it also we've added the ability to add thicker data lines so if you right click on MPH for example you can make the data line just a little bit thicker okay um, so yeah that's this particular bit of video um, from earlier in the day let's uh, now o open up some video from uh, a little bit later when the camera has been moved so let's pause this go to open and which outing should we open? Let's open the very. No, let's open this one, I think. Let's double click on this. Uh, the light was changing throughout the day. You can see here that the tone of this video becomes quite, uh, quite blue in tone. Let's just scale that over to make the video a bit more prominent. And uh, I think there's a bit of the video that I'm looking for. Oh, yeah, it's just around here somewhere. So um, let's play this one. So this is the new internal camera shot, so you can see that you can see a little bit more clarity here, but let's click on this one. How very nice of the car in front to absolutely coat the windscreen with mud. Yeah, uh, but let's go back to this. So immediately you can see that um, a bit more of the dash is exposed and you can just see a little bit clearer what the driver's up to. Um, so yeah. This was how the uh, cameras ended up installed on the G-Cat racing car. 
As well as GCAT racing, we're working with another team down the pit lane, uh, Par Motorsport, who also compete with a Porsche Carrera Cup car. Um, these guys were running HDX2 in the car, and uh, the reason for testing at Silverstone uh, was to give their brand new 2015 driver, Dino Zamparelli, uh, a taste of uh, the new car. Uh, Dino has had some prior experience of Racekeeper Systems from when he raced in Formula 2 and the Racekeeper box was the uh, spec system for that series. Uh, he had a very eventful race at Spa and uh, is actually responsible for uploading one of the most popular Racekeeper videos to YouTube with over 1.2 million views I believe. Uh, so here's that video for you now.